Tommy Lauren. Tommy Lauren of The Blaze, formerly of The Blaze, now Fox News. She had the... She dealt with something so embarrassing and so horrible, horrific, so degrading, so so dangerous. I can't believe she survived it. She, it, it, her life was in danger, folks. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so glad she was able to pull through. It was such a perilous situation, such a dangerous situation that Donald Trump himself had to send a tweet to let her know how brave she was. I know you're wondering, like Tim, what, what, what happened, man? Somebody pull a knife on her. Someone shoot a gun at her. Someone break in her home and try to tie her up. Was she was she carjacked? What happened, brother? Break it down, man. Please tell me right now. I got to know. I got to know. Someone threw a drink on her. A glass of water, actually. They, they said, I'm not going to waste a drink on Tommy Lauren. I'm just going to get some water. For that, Donald Trump tweeted to her. I don't make this up. Tommy Lauren appeared on Hannity to speak about the vicious water attack. Was this just regular water, mofos? I mean, you know, like this, like water, water. Or was it like Flint water? Yeah, like if Trump, you want to tweet about water throwing, don't you talk about Flint water or Philly water or Alabama water? You know, Flint don't even have the worst water in the country. You know this, right? There's a lot of other places with horrible water in this country. But Trump couldn't bother with tweeting about Flint water. Oh, no, but let Tommy Lauren get a drink thrown on her. How many people have had drinks thrown on them? I've had a drink thrown on me. Damn it, I wish I could have had Donald Trump tweet about it. Oh, I wish I could go on Fox News to talk about the water that was thrown on me. Oh, man. Then you say, did, see, this is why... This is why, guys, this is why I don't listen to those people that say, Tim, you need to move to the right. Move to the right. It'll be all right. Don't tell me that. Do you see how both sides are just jacked up? You can't see it, huh? Listen, remember that thing that happened in the Waffle House when the, the, the I think his name is Stefan. I can't remember his name. The hero, the black hero, the hero guy, young man. Risked his life, he disarms the gunman, takes the gun from him, you know, gets injured. That guy, Trump didn't tweet about him. He disarmed a killer in a Waffle House. Not worth the keystrokes. But Tommy Lauren gets a little bit of water thrown on her, and we get keystrokes, we get Fox News appearances, we get the whole thing. See, this is why I don't buy into that crap, man. I just don't buy I just don't. I can't afford to buy it because I have integrity. I understand people are delusional with the Democratic Party. They're disillusioned. Disillusioned. You're delusional if you think both parties are great or better than one, better than the other. Not really better. It's bad and bad. Okay? The Democratic Party is a pork sandwich that's been left out in the heat way too long. You don't want that. Right? The Republican Party is a bison sandwich left out, in the heat, left out in the heat way too long. You don't want that either. And we have people busy arguing over which piece of spoiled meat sandwich that can kill you, you should eat. And all I'm saying is I'd rather be an independent. I would tell you more about Tommy Lauren, but it'll just be drivel play acting and more garbage like more verbal diarrhea about you know how I'm I'm so brave I know I'm I'm I've been brave in the past I'll be brave now this is a representation for little girls how <laughs> whatever man whatever you on a daily basis incite 
and spread hate. And for the record, if somebody threw a glass of water in, in Rachel Maddow's face, I wouldn't be, ha- I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, oh no, be like, hey, get a tissue, mofo. I shouldn't even have to say that. You should know that, right? All right, all right, guys.